Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna take this file from The Salty Yankee and I'm gonna make it big. We're gonna do some fun things with her. I actually don't even know what I'm gonna do just yet. <laughs> but that, come with me for, you know, come along for the ride and we'll figure it out together. Um, you need to purchase the file if you wanna follow along. Uh, I definitely wanna incorporate some tool. I use the tool for her 3D letter W and um, so I'm gonna do something with that. I think something in her dress, we're gonna see. So anyway, um, add this file to your cart and then I already have it. So let's go into design space and upload it. All right, so here we are in Cricut. Um, let me cancel out of this so that you can see exactly where I am. So I'm in a brand new project. I'm gonna to go to upload and I'm gonna go find my file and by uploading the image and browsing to see where I kept that file. So I'm gonna to go to downloads because I know that's where it is and there's my Salty Yankee file, LOL doll. All right, so it's large. Um, make sure that you name this so that you can find it again. I'm just gonna do this like that. Um, this, whatever you name it, that's how it's going to be found in the Cricut Design Space image library with a bazillion other images. So you want to make sure that you name it something that you, you will be able to find again. <laughs> All right, let's go and upload this. And it, I'm, you know what, I'm also going to insert this W letter. The reason is because I want to know how big that letter is. I don't remember exactly. So I'm going to delete a lot of things. Um, I just wanted to show you what that looks like when you go and do a lot of things all at one time. <laughs> all right, from here, I am actually going to, let's see, let's ungroup this and just delete a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna grab all of that. Yep, oh, there's my little LOL doll. All right. I'm just removing all these things. I really wanna know while we're here. I want to know how big this is. So let's make this bigger. Oh wow, 40 inches before that W is even, <laughs> is even sizable. Okay, I don't want to do 30, not, I don't want to do close to 40 inches. Let's do 30 inches and see what we have. All right, at 30 inches, how will this look? She will have, maybe I'll just put it, maybe I'll just put it next to her like this. Okay. Let's do her at 30 inches and we're gonna figure this out. All right, so um, at 30 inches, what I'm looking for at this point is, what are all the big pieces? Her hair, while it's all black, it's separated into six pieces and I love it. I love working with Kayla from the Salty Yankee. It's not like she did this file for me or anything, but I love the fact that hair is broken up into six pieces. We can cut that on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and there won't be any seams in it. I'm hoping that the only seam that we're gonna see in this file is in the black background. And that's not even gonna be noticeable. I almost think, you know what? Let's do something totally different. Maybe we do the black background and we wrap it in tulle. That should cover some of the seams. I don't know. Let's try that out, okay? So the only thing that I think is really big on here is the face. So let's go and ungroup this bad boy and see how big the face is. The face is 12.29 by 9.3. So it is a little bit large. Um, so let's do this. Let's grab this whole thing. And let's go down to 29 inches and see if that makes a huge, if, if it makes any difference. Okay, now it does. 11.88 by 8.99. Now when you're in design space and you go to cut this, you know your limits are one side has to be 11 and a half inches or smaller, right? In this case, I'm gonna use the 8.99. The other side, design space or, you know, Cricut doesn't really know what material we have on our mat. Um, I could be cutting this in vinyl and have 12 by 24 inch vinyl, right? I am still gonna use 12 by 12 cardstock, but I'm gonna make sure that my paper for the face is gonna go below that 12 inch line, uh, knowing that it's not gonna cut until it's 0.25 inches down from the top. So we should be able to cut this on 12 by 12 cardstock and it will be glorious. <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's ungroup this. And I think we're good. Um, 
All right, let's look at this though. We know that the background is 29 inches. So we're probably gonna need to cut this in a couple different places. Um, we're gonna need to slice her somewhat in half and in a couple places. So let's move these pieces aside for now, knowing that we're gonna deal with it. This right here is showing 17.88 by 11.36, but we're just gonna ungroup it. Each individual piece is much smaller than that. Um, this is 13 by eight, eight inches. What you're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it, okay, and then go to contour. We're gonna get rid of one side. So when we're left with one side, this piece is totally, um, you know, can fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So let's get rid of this one. So we're rebuilding her hair into pieces that we can cut. Let's see, oh, the rest, well, the rest is separated. That's a, this is a big, this is gonna be a lot of cutting. All right, we've got our hand, we're all good there. We've got the ears, more hair. I think everything is good. Even this together is good, but I think, yep, we can ungroup it. Okay, we can ungroup all these things. Let's see how long this piece is. Okay, this piece is 12.79 by three inches. But let's unlock it and turn it, and let's see how big it is now. So add a diagonal. We're wasting a lot of paper. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we're wasting paper. But if you put it at a diagonal, this now remeasured at 10.88 and seven and a half. We can cut that on the Cricut. It's just, we're wasting a lot of space on the paper, but it's gonna be seamless. Now this one's a little bit longer. Let's see what we have here. And it will only remeasure when you hit the unlock button. So I've unlocked it. Let's see what we have. 11.89 by 7.32. Yes, we can cut that on, on a Cricut on 12 by 12 cardstock. We're good. Those are all the big pieces. Everything else is easy peasy. All right, I'm moving all that. I think these pieces right here, let me just make sure that everything is ungrouped. Hold on, I gotta get to the eyes. All right, the eyes, I'm gonna ungroup it. Okay, so all these pieces, we're good. I'm just gonna move them to the side. And I'm probably gonna do a little bit of black glitter cardstock, um, black, I don't know, I'm gonna look at all my different grays, like slate-ish kind of metallic, and use it for her dress. And I think I'm gonna, either wrap some of these um, these dress pieces in tulle to give that extra you know um, finish to it so still cut this in black but then later afterwards wrap it in tulle I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe possibly wrap this whole thing in tulle we shall see all right everything is good except for this piece this piece is 18 inches by 29 inches we're gonna have to slice it in a couple different areas what i am gonna do though is i'm gonna upload her again and add to canvas and this is just for me it's a visual for me i am going to lock this and update the height to 29 inches right because that's what we did and then not to confuse all these pieces over here like broken down like that as individual pieces i'm gonna flatten it i really just want this image so that i can see where i slice it so i know if i need to fix anything so what we're gonna do now is um, I'm gonna use my grid of squares. I'm a big believer in this because I have squares that are all flush together. That way when we're piecing things together, we know that the corners all meet together. It's easy to um, put the puzzle back together and also to make it as flushed as possible. So if you don't have the grid of squares, you can get it for free on my website if you subscribe to my newsletter. If you do not want to give me your email address um, and just don't, I mean, just to give you a heads up, I mean, we don't send out very many newsletters. Um, we don't even send out one a month. So, and you can always unsubscribe. So try that. But if you don't want to give that to me, then you can purchase it for $6. It is on my website. Um, if you end up subscribing though, just one more note. Uh, what happens is you will get an email to confirm that you want to subscribe. When you confirm, 
you will then get a code to use to check out. You will purchase purchase it, but you will enter in the code and it will take it down to zero dollars. All right, um, let's go into images. So my once you upload it, I'm gonna put my grid and um, these are things that I oops not purchased but uploaded. So there's my grid of squares. It comes with two. You have a three by three which covers pieces that are 33 inches and you have a four by four, which would then cover 44 inches. You can always add more, but this gives you the basic, which most of the time I would say I'm only using the three by three. So let's insert that, add it to the canvas. And the other reason why I like having the grid is I don't have to recreate it each time or go find it in another file. I'm just gonna, it's just an SVG file sitting in the library. All right, first thing you wanna do is go to position and make these whole numbers, okay? So I'm gonna round down to two, I'm gonna round this up to three, just so that it's not two, two, so I can explain this better. So the X axis is the one running across right here. So it's saying go over two units, go down three units, and this is the beginning of your file, okay? So scroll down in your left, your right hand side panel, okay? and go all the way to the bottom, grab the black background. We're gonna to go to arrange and bring it to the front. Next thing we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna ungroup our squares. So go and ungroup it. And now we're gonna figure out, oops, hold on. Let me move this back to two and three. The reason why I have you put it on whole numbers is if you ever have to go backwards in your steps, it is a lot easier to go back and put this on whole numbers than if you just randomly put, put it somewhere, okay? And it's happened, like I, sometimes I will go back, so it's just easier this way. All right, um, did I ungroup this? I thought I did, no, oh yeah, I did, okay. So now let's look at this. What things that you don't want to do, okay? You don't want to slice it like this where this little piece is hanging off by itself, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're, you're slicing this into big pieces that we can handle. I think it might be easiest to, should we just go down the middle? Go down the middle and let's see. Yeah, this will work. We'll go down the middle. So we've got big pieces all right here. This leg part, I think we can get rid of this square and this square. And because I know this is on a whole number, it is on the Y axis at 25. I can move this over like this. Oh, it's just a little bit. Oh, oh wait, I can move this up a little bit more. How annoying is that little piece right there? Um, Let's think about this. Could I? Do we want to go down just a little bit? It would make life so much easier. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Oh, I've already made it small enough. All right, let's go over here. Let's grab all these pieces, okay? <clears throat> And what we're gonna do is we're gonna align it and we're gonna center it so it's all in the middle, okay? <laughs> and then, let's see, let's move some of these pieces up. And what we're gonna do then is for now, we're gonna group it, okay? And this is a good exercise. So <laughs> all my mistakes are good exercises, okay? So you see how I did this? Now I'm gonna grab, this is all grabbed, right? I'm gonna hit the shift key and I'm also gonna grab my black background and I know she's 29 inches. I'm now gonna change everything to 28 inches. The whole thing gets regrouped together, okay? Uh, look at how easy that is now. Now my legs are gonna be all together, all good. I'm gonna change this to eight, there. Look at that, it's Perfect, right? Okay. Um, 
Now what we want to do is we're going to slice the black background with the square one square at a time. So I've grabbed those two and I'm going to slice, okay? Then I'm going to grab the black background, hit the sh control key, <laughs> grab the square, and, uh, okay, that didn't work. Grab the black background and grab this square. Why does it not let me, hold on. Oh, and I moved it. Did you see how it shifted? So let me undo that. I wanna hit the shift key, that's why I was doing wrong. Okay, I'm gonna grab this square and the black background and slice. Then I'm gonna grab this square and the black background and slice. I don't need these two squares, right? Nothing's in there. I'm gonna grab this one and hit shift and the square and slice. So I should have my five, well, technically six pieces, okay? But I'm going to undo this just for a minute and we're gonna see where all our slicing occurred, okay? And bring, arrange, send to the, bring to the front, and let's see where these seams go. The seams go right down through her mouth, I believe. Yeah, through her mouth and through her eyes. So this is what we're gonna do to minimize what we see there, okay? So we know that. So now what I'm gonna do is, Let's delete this. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that visual anymore. I'm going to move this over so we know what our black background looks like. Then let's, at this point, let's get rid of our, all our slice results. And then we're going to go find our lips and our eyes. Okay. Our lips and our eyes are in the face. Oops, let's ungroup that. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna duplicate this because we need this face, okay? But what I wanna do is I wanna enclose the eyes. So weld something here to enclose it and then we're gonna work on this. So give me one second. Um, what do I want? What do I want? Um, I want this little circle right here. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it over here. Kind of like that. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Actually, what I want, let's delete that. We're going to, let's grab this little guy right here. Okay, we're gonna make it small and we're gonna turn it over. Why won't it let me I want to make it even smaller. That's not working. Hold on. Let me get a, let's just do a little circle. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this, okay? So you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna unlock it, let's see if I can make it. Oh, it won't let me do anything. Hold on, let's just make it. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it 0.3. I know, we'll do this. We'll unlock it, make it 0.3 and 0.4. Let's see what that looks like, okay. And where is my, why can't I rotate this? Where's my little button? What in the world? Where are all my pieces? Okay. Um, I'm gonna make this 0.5, okay. Now it's unfortunate right now that I can't rotate this at all. Normally I can rotate it, okay? And what I would wanna do, I mean, this is ridiculous. Where are all? Okay, let me try a different piece. It may be 
what's going to happen is, um, let's try this piece. All right, this might work. Okay, so I can still rotate this. That's a little sharp right there, which I don't love. Let me see if I unlock it and what happens. Okay, if I unlock it, I'm gonna make it more narrow. And then I'm gonna turn this a little bit more. So, okay. I'm going to leave it like this, okay, because I don't know what's going on with my mouse right now and it won't really let me do too much. I am now, I made a duplicate copy and I'm going to turn this one around like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh geez, let me undo that. <laughs> I'm going to grab from here like this. I'm going to grab this whole thing, okay, and I'm going to combine it and weld it. And then I'm going to zoom out for a second, okay, just so that you can see. Now, because she's got that LOL element and it's, you know, here are her eyelashes. To me, and I think it, it will be even less obvious, is when we go to actually cut this and piece it together, you're not going to think that this eye shape is that weird because this is weird <laughs> that's not very normal either right but now what we have is we've got an enclosed piece right so what I would want to do is let's get rid of this we're just gonna use this one okay we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna go to contour and we're gonna hide all I want the two eyes and the mouth and I don't want this face okay so I'm going to change that to black and I'm going to piece this together really close, really close, but you can still see the white so that we know where the seams are because I want you to be able to see this. And so what happens is the face goes like, I don't know, something like this, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to throw this in there. And then we're gonna put the rest of the face, her eyes in there, her lips in there. So you're not gonna see the seams. These seams are on the edge, on the outer. You're not gonna notice it as much. So that's always gonna help. And I think we are done. So I'm gonna save this. We went to 28 inches, right? LOL, 28 inches. Actually, I'm gonna put LOL Wednesday. And I'm gonna cut it. And then Maria and I, Maria from Forever Crafty and I, we are going live on Thursday and we're gonna go and piece this, I'm gonna piece this one together live, so with instructions. I don't know if she's doing this exact one, but I love it, so let's save it. We're gonna cut it and I will see you live on Instagram and I hope you enjoy it. This is gonna look amazing, it's gonna be fun. Like I said, I'm gonna cut everything as is right now, but I may jazz it up when we go to put it together. <laughs> Let me think about what I wanna do. Do I wanna do the background in glitter cardstock? Let's do that. I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. The black background is gonna be in black glitter cardstock. Um, what I'm gonna do with this piece is I'm gonna duplicate it. Oh, you can't see the legs. Okay, so the legs, I'm gonna do this. I duplicated it, I'm gonna go to contour, I'm gonna do one leg at a time, so that way, just in case, if it makes a difference and it saves us a sheet of cardstock, I would rather do that. So that's gonna go here and here. And we should do it with this as well. So I'm gonna just make three pieces, contour. I'm gonna get rid of these two pieces. So there's my single eye, this one. I'm gonna keep the lips or the mouth. And then this one, I need the right eye. So I'm just deselecting what's left. And so that leaves just that. All right, we've got everything. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so black background, everything else is gonna be like dark gray, black, and we're gonna use tool, and that's gonna look amazing. <laughs> All right, I will see you tomorrow. That's Thursday the 26th. 
And if not, you can always go on Instagram, find that live and follow along. It's going to be so fun. Comments, questions, please post them here. I will see you guys next time. There is still time to join XOXO uh, Craft Girls. That's in Texas if you're going to be in person the second week in July in February and the first weekend in February is for all the zoom attendees so if you can't make it, physically can't make it to Texas get our zoom classes we have some amazing workshops um, if you're debating about coming in person you really shouldn't there's an opportunity to meet all these different craft influencers we've got such a wide range in our craft niche 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 <laughs> that's what I meant to say um, a wide range in age, ethnicity, what we want to focus on. There's a ton of Etsy shop owners. Um, you know, we, we just have a lot of experience and we're there to mingle, like meet everyone and talk, make connections. So if you're, if you buy a ticket to attend in person, you will also get an exclusive ticket to the meet and greet. So um, I hope to see you there. It's going to be an amazing time. All right. Bye guys.